Welcome back. If you've uh, just tuned in, you're watching television. <coughs> Everybody loves Farmer Dave. He's a great-looking bloke. He's got a lovely smile. He's hard-working, works on the drought-stricken farm. He's just got all this wonderful appeal and all the perfect things you'd want to be on a show like this, except dancing ability. And, and <laughs> no, no, true. He, he admits it. He, openly, he talks about it all the time. And the fact that he doesn't try to hide it makes him even more appealing. The last couple definitely going through to next Tuesday night is David and Eliza. <laughs> I think they thought they were going. They're staying. To be not in the bottom two, that totally spun me out. Actually surprised. I thought we were going to get heaps lower scores than that. Five. You've got to repay people's confidence this week. It's going to be just dance, dance, dance. Oh my god! Well done. Apparently, I'm a natural waltzer. He's really struggling. He's completely falling into place. I don't think that penny is ever dropping. Forward, forward, back. Just everything feels right about this one. He just shows how difficult dance sport really is. Slow it down, head up. I feel like I've got some sort of momentum. He is trying. It's just really difficult for him. I'm in love with the waltz. Forward, bounce, bounce. He's a lovable guy. You miss him. He just doesn't get it at all. This one's for my mum. <laughs> just remember the steps. Have I nailed this? Dancing the waltz, please welcome David Graham and his partner Eliza Campania to the floor. I wondered should I go or should I stay? The band had only one more song to play. You're a surprise package, Dave. Oh, there you are. Um, now, no, look, you, you, for someone who, you know, you make fun of the fact that you can't dance or whatever, but you, you seem to remember those steps reasonably well there. Nice no, yeah. he did really good. It's a good run, wasn't I was it? worried during the week, yes. but something clicked and it seemed to work really well. I was really proud. It worried me when he came out with the cases. I thought he was going home. <laughs> I didn't go to the farm. He's just coming, dropped in to say goodbye. <laughs> uh, let's, go, let's go to Helen. I thought the same thing. I thought, have you got the cases packed already? <laughs> <laughs> um, look, everybody in this competition has only been dancing 10 weeks and nobody expects anybody to be perfect. Um, and when you started off, you're safer in hold, by the way, when you're holding on to the lady, most definitely. And when you started off, the first six steps were really terrific. <laughs> and then what happened to it? <laughs> it got as heavy as lead in your boots. Um, so I'm sorry, but, uh, you know, you've got to do more than that now. 
You know, this okay. is week four, mm -hmm. and we expect more. Uh, Paul? Uh, look, I love the way that you're, you're getting into it, and that, and that, that is terrific. Um, do you shear the sheep? Mm -hmm. Yeah, OK. Because um, I kind of thought if you sheared sheep, you'd have to have, you know, timing and rhythm and coordination when you're shearing the sheep. And I yeah. kind of watched that and thought, those poor sheep. I'm not very good, <laughs> <laughs> not very good at shearing sheep. You're not very good at shearing sheep. You don't do a lot well, shearing. No, I don't. I have no, a feeling I, I know why. why. But, yeah. but listen, I love, the, I love the fact you're getting into it. A waltz needs to be in time to be really nice, and that wasn't. Yeah. OK. Uh, Mark Bruno Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's the, the strongest point of your dancing, I thought, was your timing. I thought you danced quite well in time. You're not a gifted dancer, and you openly admit that. <laughs> what I, what I, I love about you, though, is, like a, a, a good Aussie, you keep having a go. And I think that's great about you. You don't back up. You have a really good go. <laughs> Eliza... You've set choreography that really works for him. It doesn't have all the swing and sway mm -hmm. and yeah. stuff we need from Walsh. But look, that's OK. You're doing a great job. Keep trying. Thank you. It, it is. I mean, you, I think Mark makes the point that everyone on the show is quite brave because it's something you haven't done before. And for you, it is really totally different from what you've ever done before. It's very brave and you've done it. You've given it your best shot. And I think that's why people are out there. They're voting for you in Dave. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, I think so, yeah. Otherwise, I've got to use those bags. You don't have to use those bags yet. But you can walk out this way. I'll get someone else to bring your bags for you. Uh, <laughs> and hope you'll enjoy our hotel. And remember the phone number... And 1-8 on the end of the phone number, very important, or SMS Dave on 191977. Hey! Oh, look, I've got your bag. There's been, there have been budget cuts, but you'll be quite comfortable in here tonight. Uh, there's no need for a hotel for you, is there, Dave? Good, no. No, I'm set. Now, the judges, they've, they've been pretty hard on you tonight, haven't they? Yeah, well, yeah, we did an amazing, amazing go in rehearsal before, mm -hmm. and um, I suppose, I don't know, we just, I, I, I stuffed up one Look, step. You know, it's been really hard week, so for him to pull that out from what I started with, I'm so proud of him. Yeah, absolutely, and nice acting oh, well moment. <laughs> nice acting at the end. Oh, thank you, thank you. The sigh. Yeah, do I get a job on Home and Away? <laughs> Ah, I see where you're going. we better get the scores first. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges will reveal their scores. Todd McKenney. Three. Helen Ritchie. Five. Paul Mercurio. Five. Mark Wilson. Oh, good luck. Five, mate. Eighteen. Early go. Yeah. Gig on home and away. Yeah. All, all Saints? Any of those. We'll take any. <laughs> uh, plenty more where that came from.